All right, we're gonna take a call from Armadilla Racer. Armadilla. Armadilla. Hey. What's up, Dilly? Uh, not much. How are you? Pretty good. I'm having an egg with a little bit of salt. They didn't give me any pepper in the package, so just salt. Oh, well, maybe they're low on pepper. Romantic gestures. Huh. I like what you said. Million other things. Yeah. Yeah, I was just gonna let you know. Um, let I'm me know. Kind of, I'm kind of a. You're, you're an influence of mine, and I'm kind of stepping into the shoes of what you're doing right now. Oh yeah. You're I'm like working. game streaming and stuff. Well, not that aspect, more so what you do in Mega64, like I'm uh, art directing and um, uh, production designing, like I'm in film school. Oh, dude, that's fucking rad. What school yeah. do you go to? Uh, Ryerson in Toronto. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah, so I'm going to be designing like costumes and sets and stuff and just the kind of stuff you do. Hey. That's, uh, if I can provide any kind of inspiration for you wanting to go down that route, that's, that's rad, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited. I got this production coming up. I think I told you about it last podcast, the peanut butter face one. One of those weird I Lynchian don't... type things. Uh, did you talk about it on the Mega64 podcast? No, I think it was, uh, one of the streams, a couple streams ago. Shit. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Peanut butter face? Yeah, I remember of, talking to you about David Lynch stuff. I remember talking about that, but I don't remember anything about Peter Butter. Oh, yeah. It's this new film I'm going to be making. Uh, I'm art directing, and I wrote it. Oh, yeah, right. Currently in production. You'll have to send it to me when you're done. You're going to put it on YouTube? Uh, it might be going to the festival market first, but oh. if that fails, it'll definitely be going on the internet. <laughs> okay, cool, dude. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah I was actually going to ask you uh, a big favor, man. I feel like such a douche for doing this uh-oh get ready dude the chat's gonna tear you apart i know i know you, you just I, exposed I was... you just exposed a weakness bro yeah fuck well, you're, do you're done all right what's up release the hounds um no i i have an indiegogo campaign right now and i was wondering <laughs> if maybe i know i know the chat rules so i'm not asking you to post it in the in the chat link i was wondering if maybe if i tweeted it to you you could retweet it uh Sure, I'll retweet it for you. Why don't you tell the stream right now about it and your movie and where they can Thank look you, you so up? Thank you so much, man. Where can they look you, you know. up? Um, well, it's Indiegogo campaign. Uh, it should be called The Gospel of Peanut Butter Face. Oh man, this sounds like <laughs> this sounds <laughs> like this sounds like bad news already. Uh, it's a really strange kind of art house horror movie. It's kind of uh, a lot of practical effects, which is going to be awesome. A lot of peanut butter simulated. The peanut name butter. though, the name is going to turn people off. Really? I mean, that's my that's my advice. The Gospel of Peanut Butter Face. Yeah, too silly. Oh, really? Too silly? Well, it's it's supposed to be campy. Yeah, I yeah I don't know. I, hey, dude, do your thing, but but I I just I don't know, man. Really? That name is just I mean you want you want me to be honest? Yeah. Yeah, that name is like bad. Really? I don't do you guys agree? It's it's uh I would I'm not see even your, I'm not even saying your product is going to be bad or anything like that. No, no, no. The title is a little bit much. But I'm just saying oh, right okay. now if you're if you're going to tell people on the stream like, "Hey, I'm trying to get this thing off the ground. I'm really passionate about it. Please go to the India Go Go campaign and and help me by donating to my project called the Gospel of Peanut Butter Face, that <laughs> you had legitimacy up until the name that's very off-putting, and I I really? am I am willing to bet money not a lot of people are gonna help out if that's okay. the way you promote it. Well, I, I guess I've, I've never really uh, heard a uh, response on the name without someone knowing the plot. So yeah, basically on the name alone, like it might be a little kind of weird. Actually. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you gotta kind of. Do you have a trailer or something up on the Indiegogo thing? Uh, yeah, I've got a like a short video I made that inspired the script. Okay. Uh, which which is the Gospel of Peanut River. Okay. <laughs> which is an inspiration. Um, let me just let me explain. It's about an ex priest who loses his faith and decides to try and recreate the Christian faith worshiping peanut butter, and he's trying to like kind of lure in one of his young uh, choir practice girls and convert her to this new fucked up faith. And he's 
going to be bleeding peanut butter and a whole bunch of crazy shit's going to be happening. It's kind of like a exorcist type possession. It's going to be nuts. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's very much to do with almost satirization of religion. So it's kind of the gospel of, of peanut, peanut butter face. face. Yeah. I got it. It makes more sense now. Yeah. Well, you guys have heard it here. I'll I'll tweet it. I'll retweet it if you tweet it at me. Thank Check you. out the Gospel of Peanut Butter Face. I was wondering if, if you've seen the Japanese movie uh, Houseu. It was. Uh, House. You know, Rocco's got that yes. on Blu-ray, I have. and oh, I've yeah. he's seen it. I've been meaning to see it because he's told me nothing but that like I would love it. I just yeah. haven't I haven't gotten around to borrowing it from him. But uh, no, I've never seen it. I don't even know anything about it. That is my number one influence. Tell him that for this film. This okay. film is going to be Tell very Haosu inspired. Rocco, it's Haosu inspired. Oh. Do you have a waifu in the movie? A waifu? Yeah, yeah. that's kind of uh, the uh, main character, the Kathleen girl, who's getting lured in by this uh, reverend. She's a waifu to him. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, so it mainly... Um, just, just kind of the, that was really the only film that tackled the avant-garde kind of horror film. That's the only film I can think of that's both a horror film and kind of like art house. Okay. So that's what we're really trying to recapture in this new thing, but yeah. Dude, I dig it. Thanks, man. Thanks so much. No problem. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, thank you. Alrighty. Alright, see ya. See ya. That was that was Armadillo Racer. Check out his project, The Gospel of Peanut Butter Face. <laughs>